Hey, it's Red and Code here, and today I want to showcase the little program I created in JavaFX, which is a table view with custom row heights. So I had a comment asking a question similar to this, where we have a few columns, and we then want to make sure that we can define the height of each row, because it might be different, like this, where our first row contains a name, and then some data elements, in this case three. Our next row does not contain any data elements, so the height is different from our first row. And how we define this is actually just very simply that in JavaFX we can't really define the height of a row, but what we can do is define the height of a list view, for example. And then whenever our list view is a child of our table view, the table view is then gonna fit to our list view. So because we're defining the height of our list view, we are then able to define the height of our table view. So let's have a quick look inside scene builder, where we just have a relatively simple setup. We just have a table view with an ID and few table columns with some IDs. We then inside our controller, define our table view, what the table view will contain, and what our table column is gonna contain. And we have this information, which is a custom object, or custom class I created, which is gonna be matching our elements. So this information object contains a string for the name and the list view. Then have a constructor and a few get a methods to get the information if we want to get it later on. But we then have this class, which we can use to create some objects, which will be matching our information inside our table view. We then define that our name column will also contain information from our information class, specifically a string, and our data column will contain information from our information class, the list view. We then create a list view, which we're then gonna be adding. When we create a few elements, we will be adding to our table view. First, we have our tests, which contains this list view, and then have test one, which does not contain any list view, so it's just null. We then inside initialize, set a few cell value factories first to define more specifically our name column will be containing information from our information class, string again, and more specifically, the name attribute. So inside our first column, name we're going to get whenever we add a information object here the name attribute which for the first one is just a test and for our data column we want to add our list view which is our data attribute and we're not doing all this we then have our list view more specifically we add it to our first row we then add some elements to this list view to get some information some data like right here we then set the height, set preferred height of this specific list view to change the size of this row. And I could just simply change this to be 120, for example. And now our row would be a different height. So by changing the children of our table view, height of our ch children in our table view, we can then define the heights of our specific rows. Because as far as I can find, it is not possible to just define that we want this specific row to have this specific height because this row is not containing elements of rows. Each column is its own. So it's just simply easier to just define the height of the children of our table view and have the table view to simply fit to these children. And we could definitely also define the width if we wanted to. But for now, I just set some preferred width inside scene below, which should be fine. So this is how I would change the heights of each row, specifically inside a table view with JavaFX. So if you enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like and subscribe, and I wish you all a wonderful day.